You know, everyone has a story about old crazy Jake, and Bob Schuess is no exception, so let's listen to what he has to say about this legendary character. All right, Bob, everybody that we talk to about the mountains there, the Superstition Mountains, always has some great stories about them. Do you have any? Well, I, I watched one of your videos and I listened to Ron Feldman talk about Crazy Jake, and me and him had kind of a similar experience. I came in a little later than him, but I, I packed for Crazy Jake for, oh, about a year and a half, two years. And uh, that was interesting. He was always trying to convince me that he, his thing was real, you know, that he knew where the bars were and all this stuff. And I never bought into it. I said, Jake, I don't want to hear that crap. All I want to do, I'll pack your stuff in. Then I spend a couple of days riding around in the mountains, learning the trails and stuff. And that's all I want. I don't want, I don't want you asking me for money. I don't want to do no digging. I just want to do this, learn the mountains. And you know, that's what I did. Well, now, and we had a big falling out. <laughs> As he did with a lot of people. I oh think. yeah, I listened to Ron's story. It was almost identical to mine. You know, we'd yell at each other if we ran into each other at Sambo's on Main Street. He'd go, why do I always run into you when I don't have my gun? <laughs> you know, I, you're crazy, man. <laughs> did he ever show you any of those gold bars? Oh well, no, he just said he knew where they were. He didn't want to open that one up until he found this other one he was looking for. We got to leave that one alone until we find this other one, because once we bring it out, we're done, you know. So it, it, he had stories you wouldn't even believe, and I couldn't believe how people believed him. I mean, he, he could talk you right out of your socks if you let him. I mean, he's an unbelievable con man, unbelievable. <laughs> he had school teachers, doctors, uh, and some retired guys that I was so mad at him, he took two houses away from old Bud Elkins, you know two houses that Bud Elk, that was his retirement. He worked for Caterpillar Machinery all his life. Come out here, he bought two houses. He lived in one, he rented one. And Jake just took took his houses over. Just a, a shrewd And broke him, yeah. Or? Oh yeah. Con man extraordinaire. That, that, that's amazing, that's a. Yeah, well what's amazing is when you came out here, anybody that knew that came into the mountains, you, you ran into them. And then he'd, he'd tell you, you looking for the Dutchman? You, what are you doing? You know, and he, he'd, he'd say, you don't have to look for it. I got it. I know where it's at. And that's how these guys would absorb into him. That's what happened to Ron, you know. I mean, I was interested at first, but then I learned he was bullshit, you know. So you found those gold bars, right? I mean, that's how you uh, paid for this place. <laughs> 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 yeah, come on. I, I know that you earned it the hard way. <laughs> yeah. It wouldn't have took as long if I'd have found him bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, another example of how crazy Crazy Jake was. And we probably have only touched the surface of his mysteries in those superstition mountains.